So this is the Eclipse 5 Transmitter Oxygen Concentrator. Uh, this, this machine is designed for continuous flow use or pulse motion. The whole idea is the patient is fueling the meaning they're constantly moving on the uh, Very simple to use, turn it off, turn it off, and then it's here. The unit's got a luggage cart, uh, that's how we do it. The unit tilts back, as you can see, Picture there. This is not to get the patient out and about. Move Very simple, being simple to use. Angle connects here, goes to the patient. Roll it off, they can increase, decrease the lever flow. Battery powered off of the back. That's off of the back, it's asserted. Or if they're in the car, they can be plugged in to their power outlet here to run the machine. While they don't want to use the battery while they're in the car, they can just use the battery while they're out and about. Playing with the green kids. And this has the airplane that's overhead band compliant? Absolutely. The FAA compliant has the uh, label here as well as on the bottom of the device. If you remove it from the car, it actually has the FAA requirement that it needs to get on the And the battery has a drop as well. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's really what is FAA compliant for that. Can you talk a little bit about the battery conserving yes. So, as you see on the front of the unit, in the Eclipse 5, it says auto set. Right. So basically, continuous flow, you're going to get three liters per minute, two liters per minute, continuous. That's right. all it. When you switch over to the pulse nose, it switches over from the continuous flow to the pulse nose, meaning when the patient inhales, the unit delivers oxygen. If the unit is running continuously, providing oxygen continuously, it's continuously draining the battery. When you switch over to the pulse nose, that power draw is reduced drastically because it's only really providing oxygen when the patient can hit the The majority of the patients that are suitable for the pulse nose, uh, this is going to be able to preserve their battery life, preserve their battery life, and uh, keep them active. The approximate battery life on filling the flow container. So about two hours. About two hours. Thank you so much, Lear. Appreciate it.